as we all know that the whole world is moving towards technology while technology itself moving towards blockchain technique in the upcoming times due to the blockchain technology a lots of changes can came in technical world and from now a lots of industries has been moved towards blockchain and to be honest blockchain is also my favorite skill in which i wanted to become an expert and that's why i am going to start a tutorial on blockchain today and through this tutorial i am going to explain blockchain technique to you in a very simple way if you are new in this field you will still be able to understand well i'll explain in this way so let's get of you on my channel this is samiruddin and you are watching samiruddin consultancy youtube channel today we are going to discuss introductory video about blockchain friends in this video we are going to see what is blockchain actually and all concepts related to blockchain we will understand through examples so that you don't have any problem to understanding this subject if you want to know about blockchain in a very simple way so i can say that the blockchain is the technology that helps to transfer bitcoin from one person to another so do you know what is bitcoin it is a currency that can be used in digital transactions the bitcoin was launched by satoshi nakamoto in 2009 by implementing blockchain technology while the blockchain technology was released in 1991 by the group of people but at that time the blockchain was not given much importance and when the bitcoin was launched using blockchain technology in 2009 it gained importance and so it's emerged in the world let's understand with a simple example suppose you have a documents folder in your system a time will come when folder will be filled then what will you do then you will create another document folder and move the documents in it and when it's fill up you will create a third folder and by doing this repeatedly it creates a folder chain similarly the blockchain contains of blocks instead of folders these are the blocks that store data previous hash and current hash block can contain different types of data it depends on which industry data will be stored in the block let's suppose it is bitcoin block a bitcoin's block contains the transaction details inside the data part these are connected to each other through hash function if you are wondering what is hash if you have read the link list then you will know that each of its node has the address of its previous node and the next node in the same way here every blocks has address of its previous block in previous hash function and the address of next block in current hash function basically hash connects all blocks to each other suppose this is the first block of bitcoin so its previous hash will be empty like the first node of the linked list because this is the first block and this block is also called genesis block where the block start and first chain of the blockchain start working 
when the data inserted into it a current hash function is generated in it and when the second block is created and when the second block is created the current hash function of the first block will start pointing to the previous hash function of the second block the new data will also generate a hash function corresponding to another block that's why new block are distributed in it data is stored in it when the data is filled new blocks are created and that's why it is called blockchain a series of block in which new blocks are formed one after another but they are interconnected to each other so here you can see that the third block is connected to the second block and the second block is connected to the first block now understand why it is so successful and reliable suppose if a person with the wrong intention think that he will change the data of the block then it is impossible because someone changes the detail of the data then the corresponding current hash value is also changed and as the current hash value changes it will not able to indicate the next block as a result the chain will break and it will be and it will be detected that there is something wrong with the blocks or some kind of manipulation has been attempted in it and this is the feature that makes the blockchain very secure Now let us come to the basic definition of blockchain. I got it from Professor Sandeep Chakrabarti, who is serving in IIT Kharagpur. So by definition, blockchain is a decentralized computation and information sharing platform that enables multiple authoritative domains who do not trust each other to cooperate, coordinate. and collaborate in a rational decision making process so this is the broad definition of blockchain and from this definition there is very important terms that is decentralized so you can say that blockchain is a decentralized database which helps in cooperation of multiple authoritative domains so this is an important aspects of blockchain that combine multiple authoritative domains who do not trust with each other and they can come to a common platform where they can cooperate coordinate and collaborate in application development process and business intelligence process now let us consider a scenario that how blockchain useful for developing a particular application earlier when someone had to share a document one had to work one by one suppose x share a document to y and y makes some manipulation to it and send back to x so this was traditional way of sharing documents so in this particular architecture there are multiple disadvantages first problem is that both x and y cannot edit a document simultaneously that is fundamental problem of this architecture in this kind of architecture both are dependent to each other because if the code is not edited by x and does not return to z then y will not able to do its job Now let's look at another case. Suppose in case of Google Docs platform both can also edit and write documents simultaneously. But the problem with this is that this is a centralized platform. So the major disadvantage of this centralized platform is that it works as a single point of failure. suppose you are building an application and you want to store that application in the centralized platform and some people are working on it 
then the problem is what if the server crashes and in this case the entire information will get lost except you have a backup and this is the reason that distributed platform like blockchain is more trusted than centralized platform because blockchain ensure that information consistency maintain between the document which x and y working together and it will help you to make better coordination where x will keep his copy of document and y got his document file and they can independently working on their own copy of document and by the help of blockchain their information synchronized with each other so that both x and y can able to access most updated copy without any restrictions so that is advantage of blockchain technology now let us understand that we can send money to each other with the help of traditional banking system then what is the function of blockchain here so for this we have to understand how blockchain can solve the problem of banking system suppose alex who in usa wants to send some money to samir in india then there will be a third trusted party between them which is a bank alex money will go to the bank first and then he will give that money to samir and in return will deduct some transaction fees this process takes 3 to 4 working days but if we use the blockchain here so here the bank which is trusted party is not required and the transaction time will not take much time and as soon as you click for the transaction your work is done instantly and even the most important transaction fee will be very low in case of blockchain system till now we have understand what is blockchain technology features and benefit to using blockchain technology now let's move on to know how does the blockchain work for that we have to understand the concept of open ledger firstly ledger is a register where we can keep a record of things similarly the bank stores the transaction accounts in its ledger in the same way this ledger is open in a blockchain and that is public so let's take an example to understand it properly suppose a b c and d is a network of four people who want to transfer money to each other and assume that a has 100 dollar and if a transfer 50 dollar to b so block will be created which is contain transaction details of a and b and previous block which had balance of a will be linked to it and same as b transfer 30 dollar to c and c transfer 10 dollar to d so these transactions will updated on all nodes that means everyone contain the information of all transactions now suppose a wants to transfer 80 dollar to c and by looking in this public ledger you can see that updated value of a only 50 dollar so a has only 50 dollar in his hand even if a want to make this transaction then it will be an invalid transaction and then that invalid transaction will block and it not reflected to public ledger so in this manner public ledger works in context of decentralized system by the help of blockchain i hope you are understand about blockchain technology properly 
सो इन अपकमिंग वीडियोज वी विल नो मोर अबाउट ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ बीट क्वाइन एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव मी समथिंग इन रिटर्न फॉर माई फ्री नॉलेज देन डेफिनेटली लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड यू मस्ट हैव टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रिंग मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट कोर्सेज इन द अपकमिंग टाइम विच विल बी फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट अवेलेबल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड ब्लॉग नाउ अलाउ योर फ्रेंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग गुड लक गुड बाय